As we speak now, significant part of territories of Georgia remain under foreign military occupation. You might have heard reports that some Russian APCs were dislocated to move to closer to the capital and on halfway between Gori and Tbilisi. Has already gone for 70 years of subjugation by this. Today I signed the ceasefire agreement. I have to specify this is a ceasefire agreement. This is not a final settlement. This, we are under Russian invasion and Russian occupation right now. There is continuous instances of mass. Never ever we will surrender. Never ever we will give our freedom and independence. Never ever we will give any piece of our territory. And freedom will go to every part of Georgia, to every ethnic group, to every community in Georgia. President Bush noted in his statement a couple of days ago, we support Georgia's sovereignty, we support its independence, we support its territorial integrity, we support its democracy and its democratically elected government. That is America's position, and in my discussions with uh, my European colleagues, it is the position of the Europeans as well. The Russian attack on Georgia had uh, profound implications and will have profound implications for Russia's relations with its neighbors and with the world. But our most urgent task today is the immediate and orderly withdrawal of Russian armed forces and the return of those forces to Russia. I would like to draw your attention to the events that... President Saakashvili, as he has said, has signed this document. Uh, after I have been able to offer uh, some clarifications from President Sarkozy about the meaning of certain uh, terms. In today's ceasefire agreement, I still... The free world will now have to wrestle with the profound implications of this Russian attack on its neighbor for security in the region and beyond. Dr. Rice, uh, Rustavi, to Georgian TV, I will ask question.